I'm at the Edge Farm and I'm with Mauricio and on, out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pillars, one is education. And uh, I think the word education is no longer fit to define education itself. <laughs> to you, what is education? Hmm. That's the biggest problem, I think, right now, to I define what yeah, it is. I think, in uh, my opinion, it's a process that never stops in the life. It's a learning process that you, during your life, you take lesson from people, from your surrounding, from your interests, your passion. And of course, we have different age, uh, with different maturities. So we consider education usually once we treat with the uh, younger. Uh, kids because we need to coach them you need to be very close to them but basically in my opinion we should try to get young people becoming adult conscious uh, conscious about their passion about the role of the creativity learn about the technology um, in, if we don't give them all this they take it because uh, today we have a self-taught generation for uh, many, many things. So we have the responsibility to redesign some education paths that's called school in a way that can be much more supportive. Otherwise, we just get them to losing time. And time is uh, the most important resource that humankind has. And uh, if we don't provide a good education, they will take it, you know, and somehow they're going to learn. I think today with the digital technology, kids all over the world, they learn by themselves. Not because the school are taking care about this one. But creativity, entrepreneurship uh, are two things that most of education are not supporting, are not pushing the people to say, hey, explore inside yourself, make your passion become your life and try to do something that you like and try to invent something and be very proactive. I would say most of education are not telling this one, that's not teaching this one, are not driving the young in this one. So this is my opinion, education is just a long process, you know, it's a, I learn every day, you know, from meeting people especially. The majority of the planet is investing a lot of money in traditional education, the matriculate system, the Cambridge system, the O-levels and A-levels. In my opinion, they're wasting 16 years of children's time. That's my opinion. And uh, how, should, how should people really... It's very challenging for governments to, 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 to you know, what model should they adopt? You know what should happen? It's not going to happen overnight. I'm I'm pretty sure about that. But it's very challenging for everyone, for parents. If if I tell parents don't send your children to school, they tell me, "Are you crazy? Are you going to spoil my it's children's culture. life?" This is culture. Yes. And uh, when I like I was talking to someone who has been today uh, for 12 years, he has been Austria, living there, doing nothing, and he's educating. He's he's doing odd jobs so he can educate. His children and now his children are making hundred dollars a month in after education in Pakistan for example my question is why do we need such education which is not really creating the human edge factor in them and not allowing their element to come out what is the, do you have a radical <coughs> process available have you been able to crack this code what do we need to do? You know, this is you know this is uh, <coughs> this is the point. I I think around the world there are uh, several uh, disruptive courses of school, and what do you just say? It's a, it's a challenge because it's a culture. You cannot go against uh, parents with the, with the kids because they drive. You know, it's a so it's a, there are going to be a compromise. A compromise we try to deliver with one hand what it could be certification so to deliver a curriculum so parents are fine are okay but with the other hand try to involve them with different programs try to get them in something which is extracurricular and also an example we do especially we leverage a summer camp or the free time or the weekend or we do leverage like uh, uh, during vacation 
and also kids that are not part of our school they can join you know they can uh, test it they can learn more about what could be the tech what they can do it so I think it's gonna be a long process because it's part of the heritage that we come we move from an age which the humankind used to adapt the behavior to the technology so it's a, the education it is the most important uh, driver for the future of the humanity it's something where all the politicians all the government in the world they should say all together we need to invest and get the education the next generation on as a topic number one because the future comes not with people who are ending their life but with people who has a redesign because the challenges that we'll face as humanity in the next century I can have an idea but I cannot live it but next generation will live that they have to do it so I think our responsibility is exactly this one I see this is gonna take a long time because still the government are very far from uh, putting the education and to change the status quo as the most important things to do it. I don't believe in any politician in the world to say, hey, I want to go into the United Nations and say, <laughs> okay, guys, so let's get in the agenda, the most important point, let's get all together how to support next generation to make the world much better. Uh, they can do it for PR, but not for real, you know? So, we have to take care by our own. And you might take your responsibility to say, I don't want my kids going to school. You take I this don't responsibility. Send them. And uh, most of people we tell you that you're crazy. Few people we tell, ah, that's a cool, that's interesting, tell me more. Uh, and then at some point, some school will change because they're going to see the difference. Um, I think nothing can come from top down, from uh, government, from institutions, just forget, but just by people that take the risk, just follow a dream, a passion, and uh, basically are entrepreneurs and doing something, they just do it. So this is uh, what I think about it. I think we need a new word. We need to eliminate the word education because it's connected to bachelorette and masters and you first coming first and you got an a you got a c i think we really need to change the word itself because yeah. unless we get rid of the whole yeah. dogma which comes with the word education this has to go away and something else has to come here the word has to change because it's just how do you explain this new thing which you're trying to even you know you it's can't explain but it's just basically let it happen. Somebody invent a word, please. <laughs> yeah, it just let it happen. Yeah. Let's go take All right.